Connor McDavid is absolutely pissed, and it's been evident recently. Just listen to this recent game interview. What's the most frustrating part right now? Uh, it's just death by a thousand cuts. You know, like that's what it feels like. It's just one mistake and it costs us another little mistake, and you know, kind of just snowball. And so McDavid and the Oilers have been struggling. Let's break down for a second why, and then we'll touch on how they slowly managed to turn the ship around. Let's take this game against the Canucks where they were heavily outplayed as an example. This game takes place at the height of the Oilers' panic, and it starts off hot as they score first, which they hadn't been able to do that often at that point in the season. But shortly after, Vancouver responds in a big way with not one, not two, but three goals as a response to the Oilers. Now you have to give the Canucks credit, but these were soft goals that the Oilers could have cleaned up. I'm talking about giving up easy rebounds, four players puck watching instead of playing defense, and overall soft goals that the goaltender should be stopping. The only other goal that the Oilers managed to score in this game was a freebie given up by the Canucks. Now in the last 8 games, McDavid has put up 21 points, confirming the title of this video that he's been absolutely pissed. You know, you can't hang on to a lead, you can't grind it wow, out. There's lots of fight, you know, I don't think the resultancy is gone. I think uh, you're seeing lots of fight. Another major concern for this team is holding on to leads as pointed out in this interview. But will scoring a ton fix the foundational issues of your team? It might feel good for now, but technically nothing has been addressed and this is the same team that was struggling this year and last year with holding leads. Let's take a look now at the game against the Minnesota Wild. In similar fashion, the Oilers get on the board first. Despite all the frustrations and mistakes that this team has been making, McDavid has taken accountability and on this next play you could tell that he had enough, McDavid was absolutely pissed and showcases a level of patience that blew my mind. With that amount of speed in the slot, most players are shooting the puck 100% but he takes it not only to the left a little bit to get the goalie out of position, but holds it all the way back so he can pivot to his backhand and tuck it in for a beautiful goal. This is really one of those statement moments where you kind of remind everyone that they're not on the same level as you. And trust me, everyone got the message. Now the Oilers would go on to win this game with two power play goals. The final score was 4-3, to three, but the Oilers could definitely clean up defensively. And even though they're slowly coming back to 500, We've already seen from last year that power play success and offensive tallies are not enough to win in the Stanley Cup playoffs. The Oilers haven't addressed their main concern of goaltending, and there isn't enough structural defense in front of the goaltending to even assist with the goaltending problem. But let me know down below what your thoughts are on McDavid's recent offensive production. How many points does McDavid finish with at the end of the season? All of that down below. Thanks for watching. It's Cappy, and I'm out.